playing with one jin feels like you are having a conversation with him. My first time meeting Wang Jin actually uh, was in 1979. I was all of 16 years old, and this little boy comes out to play for my father. As soon as he started to draw his bow, uh, there was a musicality that was coming out that belied his age. It was moving, it was thoughtful, it was extremely expressive. Ten minutes after he played, he was back in the schoolyard with his friends. And I love that. I love the fact that uh, he came with short pants and he, I remember he had a bandage on his knee from some scuffle or something. And, um, he's a kid. Um, uh, it was, um, it was adorable. I was 16 I think he was really nervous when he came to the US. I think he was feeling like a fish out of water. I think that he was afraid of the social um, difficulties, the language difficulties. David at the time, I was uh, I was dating my to be wife, and he was just kind of a younger brother to both of us. So when he's playing solo with an orchestra, or he's playing chamber music, or he's giving master classes, there's some incredible sincerity that comes out of him, which is communicated to all publics. And this is why I think he is right now one of these musicians in China that is so respected. Oh. <laughs> We 我们这些大城市的音乐厅啊,大剧院,这个增长的速度是世界第一,绝对是世界第一的,这就是音乐季,就是排好的,这个已经跟国际完全接轨了。I know what Chinese audiences have developed over these years. Nowadays, the audience is much younger than the audience that we generally have in Europe or in America. They are plentiful, especially in Shanghai and Beijing. And they listen not because they're told to listen, but because they want to listen.
you have the Chinese language, which is based on four different tones. And the sensitivity in the ear is trained to hear this intonation, which many of us in the West are not capable of hearing. So they have a, an understanding or a sensitivity to sound that is in their education that we do not have. And so there's a subtlety in their melodic expression that I find very moving. Uh, I think that my understanding of culture in China and the potentials of culture in China have everything to do with what I learned from Wen Jin as a person and as a musician. I think our friendship is not because he's Chinese or because I'm American or because I'm Isaac Stern's son. It's because we got to know each other through music and we remain friends through music and we still enjoy being musicians and working together. We always talk about music as an international language and music goes beyond borders and, and sometimes we say it so often that we forget that it actually means something. Every time I think of what Wang Jin has done, it is proof that it is true, that we are more connected through culture and through understanding each other's cultures.